In ancient Egypt, embalming was considered a sacred art, and knowledge of the process was the preserve of very few individuals. Most secrets of this art were probably passed on orally from one embalmer to the other. And according to a statement released by the University of Copenhagen, Sophie Schiott and her colleagues have found evidence of an ancient Egyptian embalming process in the papyrus Louvre Carlsberg, a 3,500 year old medical text dated to 1450 BC. Most of the volume describes herbal medicines and skin illnesses, it also contains recipes for unguents, the uses of different types of bandages, and advanced embalming instructions including a procedure for preserving the face of the deceased. Researchers say the text describes how to coat a piece of red linen with a liquid made from aromatic antibacterial plants and binders and apply it to the face. The text also instructs the embalmers to work on the mummy every fourth day, marking the intervals with a ritual procession for 17 intervals. The body was covered with cloth and straw infused with aromatics on other days during embalming period. Several mummies from this period have been found with cloths and resins over their faces. The papyrus Louvre Carlsberg, so called because one half of the papyrus belongs to the Louvre Museum in Paris and the other part belongs to the University of Copenhagen's papyrus Carlsberg collection. The two parts of the papyrus originally belonged to two private collectors and several sections of it are still missing. Based on the paleography, that is, the sign forms, the 6 metre long papyrus is dated to approximately 1450 BC, which means that it predates the only two other examples of embalming texts by more than 1000 years. The book of the papyrus, which is the second longest medical papyrus surviving from ancient Egypt, deals with herbal medicine and skin illnesses. Specifically, it contains the earliest known herbal treatise which provides descriptions of the appearance, habitat uses and religious significance of a divine plant and its seed as well as a lengthy treatise on swellings of the skin which are seen as illnesses sent forth by the lunar god Konosu. 